Okay, here's our next scenario. This is your home over here. Here's your home over here. Here's your office over here, okay? Um, and you want to connect to the remote desktop into your computer at home from the office, okay? Because you have files on there that you need, that you forgot to take with you to work, okay? This can be done, but it's just a little bit more tricky, okay? You're going to use the internet to connect to the ISP address just like we did before from one computer to the other, but we've got to go through the router now, okay? So things are going to work just a little bit differently this time, okay? We're going to come from the office into the router and into home using the ISP to connect, okay? The ISP number that we're going to need is the one from the home, and we've gone over that before. I've told you before that you could use IP Chicken and put that in Google and it would give you the IP address. So to set this up, first we're going to start at our home and we're going to use IP Chicken and find out the, the internet uh, address given by our ISP to our home computer, okay? And that's the one that, that's the number that we'll type in when we're at the office to connect to home. But of course, the router is a firewall and it's got to be configured so that it will, so that we can go from the internet to our office to our home. Okay. Remote desktop uses certain port numbers to uh, connect and, and that router must be configured to allow those uh, that that connection through those port numbers. So you, what I'm going to show you next is how to configure your router with those port numbers to allow that connection to take place. It's called port forwarding, and I'll show you exactly how to do it. But remember, you're going to need the address of the ISP at home from IP Chicken to put into your remote desktop when you do connect from the office. Okay, we're sitting at home and we need to configure that router to allow that connection to go through from our office to our home. What we'll do is we'll open up our web browser. Internet Explorer works fine. And in the address bar up here, we're going to type in HTTP 192.168.1.1 which is the address of a router and we'll hit go. If we, It should prompt you for a password if you've never set it the default password to a Linksys router is admin. Depending on your router it's going to be different. I've already set a password for mine and I'll type that in. And here we are in the router's interface now, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to need to go to the Applications and Gaming tab. This is pretty much the same on most routers. And here you'll see that I have port forwarding. That's the tab. I don't want to be on this, uh, on port triggering, but on port forwarding, okay? Okay, I know that that one computer's uh, IP address at home on the LAN was 192.168.104 because I did that command prompt from the run menu remember I told you that and that's how I know it's its address and that's the one I want to connect to from the office so I'm going to put 192.168.104 here in that IP address box I'm going to use both TCP and UDP I'm going to call this app this RDP or short for remote desktop protocol and I'm going to start it at port 3389 and end it at port 3389 and that should work fine and when you're done save the settings okay and then you're after the settings are saved your uh, firewall is configured to allow remote desktop protocol uh, to be used so that now you can connect from the office to your home computer 
the computer that is 192.168.1.104 in your home. It's not that difficult. If you have problems with it, just play the video back real slow. And remember to look for port forwarding off applications and gaming. Different routers have different interfaces, but these are the things you're looking for in whatever interface. And it's that simple. And then when you do connect from the your office, you will type in the IP number that the ISP has given you. Say you're at the office now and you're wanting to connect to the one at, at home. You will put in here whatever IP number that the ISP is from IP Chicken that you got at home. Of course, set your username and password for that machine that you're going into and you'll connect right up. Won't be no problem. In the next video, I'm going to talk about a few other issues that you should know about with remote de desktop protocol and talk about a few other options for remote administration and access.